Howdy friends, it feels so good to be making a hay video again. I haven't made one in a while. Today, we're going to talk about adjusting the flotation springs on your hay bind. Now I have to give a shout out to one of my viewers who pointed out after watching my videos, he said, man, your springs are way too loose. You need to tighten that up. And you know what? He's absolutely right. It's just something I've never got around to doing. Well, today we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you some signs and symptoms of what you need to look out for what it'll cause you in the field and how to fix it. It's really simple. Let's go. What we're actually talking about today are these springs here. There's uh, a set here and then there's a set over here. Now these are the flotation springs. This entire header runs and rests completely independently of the frame. So as you're driving through the field, this header is floating and the only thing that is given that flotation is coming from these springs. Now the gearbox is on this side of the header and it's gonna require more spring tension on this side because of the additional weight of the gearbox to float this side than the other side. Now there's a way that we can look at this. What you can do is buy some kind of, this is basically a luggage weight scale that I bought off Amazon and it's got little S hooks that go around each side. To check your, your, to check your spring tension, you need to be able to pull up here and there while the hydraulic cylinder is fully retracted and the hay bind is sitting completely on the ground. So the full weight of the header is resting. You need to pull up on that and that should have 50 to 70 pounds of lift required to lift that on each side. The lighter, the better, it'll give you more flotation. If you don't have that, you need to tighten those springs. Now, the symptom of having these springs not tight enough, when you drop this, it'll drop like a rock. It gets no flotation from that. As one of my viewers pointed out, that is harder on the sickle and your guards. And when I drop it, I do drop it very slowly. But some of you guys may actually experience this effect, which is the most annoying of all. You're bailing and then underneath the wobble frame, you get a whole bunch of hay that plugs and accumulates and it drags a big chunk and you gotta lift it to get it out. The reason that happens is because you've got too much weight on the header. It drags the hay that you mow over instead of floating right above it. So let's look at how we can test this and see what we need to do to fix it. So to do this, I bought one of these luggage scales off Amazon. It can weigh up to a couple hundred pounds. Um, and they're pretty inexpensive. They're only 30 bucks or so. I bought it just to do work on this to measure weights and tensions and whatnot. I just took a chain, I wrapped it around the push bar and I'm just gonna take a pry bar and put it through here. Let's lift this up to see how much force it requires to lift it. So that says 125 pounds to lift that. That's only supposed to be 50 to 70. Let's go over to the other side, see what it says. This one over here actually said 138 pounds. There's no way that can be right. Again, it said 133, so it must be. Regardless, we've got a lot of adjusting to do to this. Standing here at the spring on the back of the hay bind on the gearbox side, what we've got to do is first loosen the lock nut on each of these springs, and then we're going to take a 15 16 inch socket and we're going to tighten these in order to tighten these springs to provide more flotation to that header. So let's get doing that. So what you gotta do here is put your wrench on one of these, on this lock nut here. Hold this here so you can loosen it, otherwise your spring is just gonna twist. Let's try this guy here. Just like that, it's a little bit tough. 
Let's just loosen those up a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and start tight, tightening them uh, clockwise, each about the same number of turns. So I'm just going to go about four full turns a piece each time. And I'm just going to keep doing this, going back and measuring that again until I can get about 50 pounds of flotation header weight on that. So this haybine is like new. I bought it used for $2,500, but it is like new. And look at this. These bolts don't even have their paint missing. And you can see the ones over here I did. The paint's all chipped off now from the wrench. So I'm guessing these springs have never been adjusted in its entire life. This is probably how they came from the factory. So way to go me for being a terrible haybine owner, huh? When you're finished with it all and you verified that your weight up front is good, you'll just want to be sure to tighten down those lock nuts again. Now, because there's much more business going on at this end, there's going to be a lot more spring tension required on this side. So you'll see the distance between the top of the spring and your bracket here is going to be a lot shorter than down there. You don't need near as much spring tension down there as you do right here. So let's check out how this header tension or header flotation looks now. Look at how much of a difference that makes. If you recall, before I had adjusted those springs, I could not even lift this. If we come over to this side, the now I measured both of these and they were about 56 pounds right on the spot for both sides. I will go and I'll do some mowing and I'll see how that works for me. However, that side does feel pretty light and some of my fields are a little bouncy. So it is possible that I've tightened uh, these up a little too much and my header flotation is too light and I might need to go back and let out on those springs. Your mileage may vary, but there we go. Voila, we got her done. Very simple, easy task. I hope this was useful, and if you did enjoy it, then please feel free to comment, uh, provide any feedback. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and click the little notification bell if you'd like to know more videos I'm posting. And I do have some cool videos coming up this spring. One of them is going to be uh, how to mow different patterns in a field based on the field shape and I'm going to throw my drone up in the air to get some bird's eye view of me mowing and then I will narrate that video. I'm also going to be making a video on how to install a moisture meter in your baler. So uh, be sure to check those out. I hope they'll be uh, entertaining, interesting, and useful to you guys as well. All right, well that's all for now. Take care guys. Happy baling and we'll see you next time.